to help you. Let me ask you this. Give me Revelations 13 and 9. And no, keep Sirach, keep Sirach, keep what I just gave you, Sirach. You give me Revelations 13 and 9. Are you a woman of justice? Yes. Let me ask you this. What's your father's nationality? My father? Mm-hmm. Ah, come on. Oh, um, like my father, father from here? Yeah, your daddy. Your daddy, that, the, the daddy will speak out his loins. Daddy number, that daddy is a Viking. He's a Viking? Hmm, I will bet the differ on that. But what would he call himself? A, a, a European, Caucasian man? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. But we're going to get to that Viking thing. Yeah. All right, we're going to get to that Viking thing, all right? So, your dad is a European. Yeah. All right. Do, uh, are you familiar with your forefathers? Yeah. Are you happy at what they did? Hell the fuck no. You not? Okay. <laughs> Give me Exodus 20. I believe it's 20. All right, no. Isaiah 14 and 21. Is that 14 and 21? Exactly. Isaiah 14 and 21. I want to read something to you. And I want you to just, uh, just tell me what do you think about it. Okay. All right. Read that. Revelations chapter 13, verse 10. Revelation is the last book of the Bible. All right. John the Revelator wrote this. Okay. All right. Christ was giving him a revelation. Christ got the revelation from Most High God. God gave it to Christ, Christ gave it to John. Now John is telling us something when he got down the chain, all right? He's just following orders, that's all. Read this. He that leave into captivity. He that what? He that leave into captivity. Shall go into captivity. Start from the top again. He that leave into captivity. He that what? He that leave into captivity. So let me ask you this. Didn't your forefathers come to the west part of Africa? and led the Negroes into captivity, right? Do you believe in God? Yeah. Do you believe in this Bible? Show her the Bible. This is his word. Show her the fur in the Bible. Show her the fur in the Bible. Show her the fur in the Bible. Right there. Hold the Bible. Come to the front. Come to the front if you don't mind. All right. All right. I mean, it's not live, but it's recorded. This is the Holy Bible. All right. So you believe in this Bible? You read it too. All right, cool. Read this again. He that leadeth into captivity. Well, John is saying what God told him. He that leadeth into captivity, right? Like your forefathers led the Negroes, Haitians, and Jamaicans into captivity from the west part of Africa into the transatlantic slave trade, the sub-Saharan slave trade. Read this. Shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. Now. According to history, you guys have never went into captivity. You guys? <laughs> no, reason why I say that, and hold that, give me numbers 118. Hold that with the marker. Give me numbers 118. I'm, I'm saying this, I'm saying this for a reason, and I'm explaining it to you. All right? Because I mean, like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. A lot of people are like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Numbers 118, I'm explaining something. Because imagine a field full of lemons, right? Yeah. Right? And I'm an apple tree. I plant my seed in the apple, in, into the field, right? What's going to grow? Sour apples. <laughs> no, an apple tree will grow. Oh. <laughs> Let's speak logic. No, don't laugh with it, don't laugh with it. Let's just speak logic. Okay. An apple tree will grow. Uh -huh. So you know who your father is. All right, read this real quick. Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. Their, their pedigrees. Pedigrees is a bloodline. Okay. Read. After their families. By the house of their fathers. By the house of their mother. Their fathers. House of their mother. Their father. God said you from the house of your father. This is the Torah. This is the law. Mm -hmm. All right. This is why they teach in church that the law is done away with so you can follow the laws that they, yeah, they put in place. That. And they don't want you to follow this. Because they'll tell you that you're who your mother and your father is, right? Yeah, but, I, I know who but God I, says no. Who are your father's exactly. I, so if you're who your father is, you're who your father is from the beginning of time. Give me Exodus. Uh, you give me Exodus 20. I'm pretty sure my okay. ancestors were cool though. Like they did peaceful training. No. 
no, no. You guys got a hell of a history. You guys got a hell of a history. So, as long as I just wanted to get an understanding between us that you're who your father is. Yeah. So, if you're who your father is, you're who your father is from the beginning of time. Yeah. All right. That's how you track who you are. Um, bow down, not, bow down, not thyself to them. Yeah. Come now. This is how God judges people. All right. Watch this. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. He's talking about idolatry, literally. But if he's talking about metaphorically, you never set a man king, or, king over you that is not of thy brethren. Really? Really, that's okay. scripture. Let me show you. Read that. Nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity, the iniquity, as the fathers upon the children visiting the iniquity iniquity means the sins and this is how he visits you read as the fathers upon the children until the third and fourth generation of them that hate me so this is how God judges people if your father is not here he's going to get you read it again watch this start from the top thou shalt not Bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God. He's talking to the children of Israel. All right, read. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. He's visiting the iniquity upon the fathers upon the children. You see that? You didn't know that, huh? So something your father did? He's going to get you for it. It's like your father's left you a hell of a bill. They did. Give me Genesis 15 and 13. All right? Now, let me give you another precept. Because the Bible says, in the mouth of two or three witnesses, may a matter be established. All right? Because I'm just trying to find out if you're a woman of justice, because you said that with pride. You said, like, yes, I am. Exactly. My hero and a lot of Hey, hey, hey. We'll get to that. We. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter. What? Prepare slaughter. What? Prepare slaughter. For what? For his children. Read. For what? the iniquity of their fathers. For the what? For the iniquity of their fathers. Read. That they do not rise nor possess the land. So they do not rise and possess the land. Why? Why did he say that? Because if your fathers took something, they give it to you, right? You're, you're in possession of stolen property. You're guilty by association, right? Yeah. So guess what? You're guilty of murder. Know why? Because you're still here in this land. Yeah. And your forefathers took it. So that makes you guilty of murder. <laughs> yes, yeah, you can't even get out of it. You I can't even know, get out of it. No, no, it's, it's, it's not about the situation. Well, you, well, you got to understand. Give me um, Isaiah 49 and 23. You know what I want. What you got to understand is that if I stole something, right? Yeah. I can go to jail for possession of stolen property. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, if I then take that property, pass it on to my to my son, yeah. he can go to jail for receiving stolen property yeah. and he's guilty by association. No matter what. That's the law. That's the law. Yeah. So that's turning around, putting it to you because you're still here on the land that belongs to the native Indians and the That's Spanish. That's where I'm on my way to, is to an Indian chief, and I'm like, well, exactly. right now But like, the oh, Indian God. chief don't know who the hell he is. He doesn't know. I'm a little nervous. He's calling himself a native chief. Well, Indian Indian means servant. He's calling himself a servant chief. That's what no, Indian means. Him, like a hillbilly. Okay, what did you get from me? Now tell me if you understand this. <laughs> Tell me, tell me if you understand this. I'm going to have him read this for you, and I want to see if you can put this on the people, all right? Because this book has to fit the people that it's talking about, all right? Read that. Genesis chapter 15 and verse 13. And he said unto Abram, no, I'm sure. He said, he said to Abraham, no for sure, right? I want you to know for sure. Read, he, he's telling them he's best to understand this, read. That thy seed, that thy what? Thy seed. So if I say my seed, that's saying my son. Yeah. And if not him, if not my son, his son. Yeah. Then his son, right? Father Abraham. Exactly. It, it, it will be my um, 
what would you call it? My uh, no, not my generation, but your, um, your lineage. my lineage. Your lineage your exactly, my offspring. Yeah. My offsprings. All right. Line. All right. Start from the top, Baba Kusha. <laughs> and he said unto Aaron, No, of surety, that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them. And what? And shall serve them. Really? And they shall afflict them. They shall afflict them, meaning they shall afflict them with hardcore bondage. Now watch for how long, read. Four hundred years. Know, know the surety that thy seed shall be a stranger. Are the Negroes, Jamaicans and Haitians strangers over here? No, we still are. Know why? Because this is not our land. Yeah. So we're strangers. Mm -hmm. But the fact that we can be over here is because we are from the same nation as the Hispanics and Native Indians, which is different tribes. All right, read. In a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them 400 years. Now, who served 400 years? Uh, who were the slaves? Well, I'm not the slave now. Okay. No. <laughs> no, no, come on, let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. This is conversations people don't like talking about. Uh, there were, there were black slaves. Like, my ancestors didn't have black slaves. Give me slaves. a heat that's had, still at the man. They had Polish so, slaves. Give me, I think, give me a heat that's still at the man. So I show you the part. Get my phone if you need it. Here. If you need it. So, give me Acts 7 and 6. Now, this is the Old Testament. I'm going to go to the New Testament. Okay. All right? Remember, it's witnesses. It's witnesses. That was, Mo that was Moses saying what, what the Most High said to Abraham. Now, I'm going to show you that Paul is saying the same thing that the Most High said to Abraham, and Moses was talking about it. Now, Paul is talking about it. All right, cool. Come on. Read that, Baba Kusha. This is the book of Acts, chapter 7 and verse 6. And God spake on this wise, that his seed sh should sojourn in a strange land, and that they should bring them into bondage. And that they should what? Bring them into bondage. Bondage is synonymous with slavery. Read. And entreat them evil 400 years. And entreat them evil 400 years. That means there's an end to that right there. There's an end, and the end is called <laughs> and the end is called a purge. Okay. Right. What's up? Now let's find out. We're going to read the next precept. What's going to happen to the people that have them in bondage? Read. And the nation to whom they shall be in bondage. And the what? And the nation to whom they shall be in bondage will I judge? Will I what? Will I judge? Will I what? Will I judge? He's going to judge you. Read that real quick. This is why. Read that real quick. Read. Exodus chapter 21, verse 16. And he that stood the man. He that what? He that stood the man. Your forefathers stole us from the west part of Africa. He stole the Haitians, Jamaicans, and the Negroes from the west part of Africa. Took us into the sub Saharan slave trade. And. What happened? Free. And it sold him. And they sell us on auction blocks. Yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga, pick a nigga, this a nigga, this a nigga. Get this nigga right here, read. <laughs> and if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. So we are found in your hands. So he said, for surely what? Read that again. He shall surely be put to death. But nothing is happening to you guys yet. No, why? Right? Because you know who your father is. But you don't know who my father is. Your, your father's a Caucasian. Oh, he's not an European, like, or Caucasian, like. No, I mean, hey, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. You guys, it don't matter. He he he, he judges you upon the sins of your father. Read. John, chapter eight, verse forty-four. You are of your father, the devil. What? You are of your father, the devil. You know why he says that? You know what devil means? No. Liar and deceiver. Okay. That's what it means. Your forefathers lied and deceived the, yeah. 
yeah. whole nation of people. I know that. And the re you know, that's called white supremacy, not racist. I'm happy if, and listen, you got to understand the meaning of races. Me, the meaning of races means that you believe your particular race is more superior than anybody. Mine is. My race is more superior than anyone. We do everything better than anybody. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, we do everything better than everybody. Okay, Vikings are pretty cool too, though. Vikings ain't shit. You know why? You know why? Because the Negroes here are the real Vikings. Your people just took on our identity. And I can prove that. We are the Vikings. We are the you Norai. Know the Vikings did a lot of triumphing. That was the Negroes. Then we went to the Moors. That wasn't you guys. Just like the Europeans. You're not the real European because I'm the real European. The Ottoman Empire, Byzantine Empire. Hey, the Council of Nicaea, Constantine. Russia was the last place we ruled over. You're not the real European, but you're a Caucasian. You come from the Caucasus Mountains of Russia, Georgia. That's where we had you in subjection for over a thousand years. Yeah. So we are. I'm, no, I'm not even mad at you. But I'm just telling you that you have a judgment that you do not know about. Yeah, get that real quick. Let me let you hear something else. Read that. Read. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 23. Let me ask you this. If there is something that you can do, right, to show the Most High God that you're sorry for what your forefathers have done, yeah. would you do it? Yeah. Okay. You're a woman of justice, right? Yeah. All right, we're going to see. Okay. Go, go get the camera. Right? <laughs> because she says, if I mean, but you got to be about your word. Oh, I'm about my word. So the Most High God is going to show you what you can do to show that you're sorry for having his people into captivity because your forefathers left you a big bill. They left you a tap. They left you a big tap. So you want some grace too, right? I want some justice for the people. Yeah, but hold on first. You got to ask for grace for yourself. If there's a way that you can show the Most High God that you're sorry for what your forefathers have done, yeah. would you do it? Yeah. Okay, that's me. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 23. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. And we're not talking about the low level Donald Trump. We're talking about the Rothschilds. They're going to be our nursing fathers. Have you ever seen that movie Toy with Richard Pryor? Richard Pryor, a nursing father is, is me taking on one of you, one of your men, and he hangs out with us. Now he knows how to be like us. He acts like us, walk like us, talk like us, dress like us. That's a nursing father. Let's not worry about that too much. Let's read. We're going to find out how you can... Come to the front, please. Come to the front, please. Stand up. This is the house. Right now, you're, right now you're in the temple. You're in the temple of the Lord right now, all right? Stand right here. No, stand. No, don't stand towards the camera. Stand towards us. Come stand right here and turn around. Right there. Stand just right there. All right, read that. They shall bow down to thee. Start from the top. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers. And their queens are nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth, and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know I am the Lord, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. So, if you are ashamed of what your forefathers have done and you're sorry, you will bow down towards the earth and you will lick the dust off our boot. Earth. Hold on. Are, are, are you? All you had to do is bow down and lift the dust off or, or kiss our shoe. That's it. If you're sorry. If not. Exactly. Okay, I'm sorry for my No, no, you got it. You got to bow down and lick the dust off my shoe. Read the precept. This is what God said. Who rather listen to God than men, right? This is what God said. Read. Isaiah 49 and 13, slot 23. A king shall be thy nursing fathers, and queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth, and lick up the dust of thy feet. And what? And lick up the dust of thy feet. And what? And lick up the dust of thy feet. So if you are sorry for what your forefathers have done, you do what? Lick up the dust of thy feet. Because the Most High God said, 
if you are sorry for what your forefathers have done, you can't sit in the temple and lie. Now, he's looking at you. Where two or three are gathered in the name, he is here. See, you are ashamed. You hate God. And if you don't hate God, read. Look up the dust of thy feet. Look up the dust. You have to look the dust of the feet. All right, bow down. No, no. No. Stop right now. Stop right now. Bow down and look up the dust. There you go. There we go. There we go. Come, Yashuala. Come, Yashuala. Come, Yashuala. Come, Yashuala. Come, Yashuala. Come, Yashuala. And this goes to all you eating my y'all gonna be bowing down too. How do I want? Take, 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 take. Hey, hey, take this as a lesson and fall in line. That's it. Everybody here gonna be serving us. But the men you see before you, these are your next king. Because I'm the real Jew. I'm the, hey, pull that out real quick. Pull that out real quick. I'm the real Jew. Did you know that? I know you. You know now. <laughs> you bow down to a real king. That's all that is. Hey, that's the spirit of your heart right there. All right? Hey, hey, open that up real quick. Open that. Hey, give me a Jeremiah 14 and 2. So you go tell that Gadite chief that he's an Israelite from the tribe of Gad. The Gad right there. North American Indians. They're Israelites. Really? Exactly. By their father. Huh? Is that bad? No, that's a good thing. Okay. Those are God's chosen people. Okay. So God! Quick. Jeremiah! You want to fall in line too? Unless you hate God? <laughs> she hate God. That's what it is. Go tell your son that you hate God. And make him a mayonnaise sandwich. Read. Yeah. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Through the morning. In the gates of language. They are black. They are what? They are black. They are what? They are black. They are black. Unto the ground. Unto the ground. We're not black, we're brown. But the dirt is dark brown to the darkest. Like we're different shades of brown around here. He's darker brown, I'm a lighter brown, lighter brown, dark brown. We're different shades of brown. But we're called black, you know why? Because it was a it was a, a proverb, not a proverb, but a derogatory term. Uh, and, and I don't, I don't like that shit. Well, that's good you don't like it, I'm right? I'm trying to keep you poor and down and... Hey, man. Hey, all okay. <laughs> This is what we do. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to our next. Huh? Where were you going? I need to go to the airport. Go over there and catch the seven downtown. Go to that side over there and catch the seven downtown. That's where you go. And you catch the 992. Now I missed my flight. 992. 992 goes. 